I am looking forward to my copy of Super Castlevania 4 showing up though. Never played it. <laughs> pay you to death. He'll pay you with his knife. So that lit up all the ones over there. And we want to light up these ones. I don't know where he is. Probably going to come right up my ass. Whoa. Okay, that did it. Well done. I may or may have not looked that up to see uh, what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Did I say that? I mean, it's something I often say, but. Normally I'm aware when I'm saying it. Um, what do we got here? Brick. Hey, it's Kelly Belly. Hey, buddy. I got a brick. What am I going to do with a brick? I don't know. Uh oh. The chipper. Uh, oh, you're a person. Are you okay? No, you don't look okay. Oh, skilly belly. Secret space. I don't even know what happened. I got drunk and fell asleep, and I opened my eyes here. Was I kidnapped? I struggled and yelled to let me go home, and someone started hitting me. Um, then I passed out. When I came to my senses momentarily, I think I saw something. Someone put a brick in the hole in the wall, and a secret door opened. Was I dreaming? Scaly bear. Ooh. Dummy lungs. Hole in the wall, where? Hmm. And please save so I don't have to do all this shit again. Be nice. That'd be super swell, it'd be game. Let me think. Nothing here. Okay. And 
Fantastical. Ah, uh, that door closed. Wait, did that door close? Yeah, it did close. Jesus, scared me. <laughs> that door being closed scared me. Spooky. Oh, let's go the belly. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any hole for my brick. He's a sleepy skelly. Oh boy. Drop something? Yes, you did. Lever. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> uh, to the left on that wall. Over here. Whoa. Over here. Over here. That was a while back. Okay. Maybe, oh, where's your head? Dummy eyes. <laughs> dummy thick. Dummy thick eye. Oh, they are dummy thick. <laughs> oh, I want to swirl them around in my hand. Like, like, what are those things called? Uh oh. Jeez, scared me. Not an ad play, it scared me. I'm getting spooked easily tonight. Animal balls, but they're not often for hands. Mm. The ghost of the chairman ordered to only supply the holy tree with pure blood. Blood contaminated by experiments with special drugs or pathogens can't be used. It is researchers' duty to incinerate experiment subjects with unusable blood as soon as they're declared dead. With subject 238, the 13th pathogen experiment died. It was immediately moved to the incinerator to prevent prevent the spread of its pathogen. Once we started the incineration, we heard groaning. We thought it came from the ward and cranked up the heat. We then heard a scream that clearly came from the incinerator. However, there was no mistake when it was early declared to be dead. The burnt subject was alive, and when we quickly opened the incinerator door, then the subject let out a deep sigh and died again. Afterwards, subject 238 was observed to be momentarily writhing inside the incinerator. Wonderful. OK. 
Okay, what do I got? Eyes and lungs. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Give me one second. Just gotta take care of something. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put on words. Oh, damn it. So is this guy just is this guy just gonna be roaming around like the uh like the security guard? Hey Mr. Streamer, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Ooh. What's this? Oh, I don't think I want it. Maybe I did want to do that, okay. Holy crap, that's so much to read. Okay, ready? Here we go. February 17th, 1931. The chairman's... Uh... The Chairman's Ghost hosted a water drinking event to celebrate the first day of the lunar month of the year. Strangely, he set aside a big space next to the closed ward in the basement and planted a tree. After finishing the water drinking event, he told us that this tree he planted was the holy tree and ordered us to treat it with due respect. Then he warned us that we will die if something happened to the holy tree. We had doubts, though, that this tree can grow in the basement. February 26, 1931. The number of people visiting the closed ward has increased. Until now, no one except the chairman's ghost made it out of the closed ward. These visitors were usually geomancers and shamans. They constantly looked after the holy tree and gave it offerings. A uh, very powerful shaman said that the holy tree was a gateway to the spiritual world and that you could gain immortality once its secret is revealed. March 7th. The geomancers and shamans are busy since the holy tree had withered and their faces turn pale whenever the chairman's ghost yells at them in anger. They won't be able to leave if the holy tree dies. March 14th. Last night, some fool snuck into the school. He was a beggar who only came to steal food. Somehow, he opened the door to the basement and entered the closed ward. Unfortunately, the fool was captured by the old watchman, who killed and grinded him up in the wood chipper. Then he sprinkled the bloody bits around the holy tree before anyone could stop him. How can he spread something so filthy like that on holy ground? I'm sure the chairman's ghost will be displeased and the, the old watchman will die. I don't think he died. I think he's still going. Can you guys hear the game okay? Hmm. Well, was that it? Just documents and this. You don't hear anything from the game? Okay. Um, 